Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Gong Do playthrough, where things are going reasonably. We've uh, gained peace down here for now. We are at war account with uh, Kung Rong up there, and obviously Hanzian, which we're going to deal with soon. We're actually moving uh, Gong Do up to, to reinforce and we're keeping an army down here. Income is reasonable at the moment. We are leveling ourselves up nicely as well. Um... I want to level both those places up because obviously this is a defensive line. Oh yeah, this is where the other army is. We are uh, basically having fun up here. We're go just going to raid their towns up there for a bit more income. Uh, oh wow, loads of people have leveled up. Uh, I don't really care about these people because I don't really use them for much. So Obviously this is records mode as well so we don't have as much uh, shiny. I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm just clicking through here. Mostly. Because some people are potentially going to leave us, but I don't really care. Okay. How is my corpse doing? Yeah, that's good. And Gong Du's going to come up here. We're going to batter them, and then we're going to look down here to fight Kong Rong. Because Tong Rong seems to be one of the major power players now in this. Oh, and that worries me. Him moving up armies does worry me. That said, we've got reasonable defences there. Um, I need to bring this war. Liu's young is much better. Oh, I've just unlocked Land of Milk and Honey achievement. Um, ooh, lots of vassalizing going on. Oh, bugger. Oh, Lu Bu declared war alongside him, then declared war on him. How am I at war with Lu Bu? No. I, I do not want to be, even though this is records mode, guys, I do not want to be at war with Lu Bu because Lu Bu. Victory belongs to us! I've already hit that one once. Strike later. No. To attention. No, we're gonna hit it. I may as well. While we're here, even if we've already sacked it once recently, we're not gonna get much from sacking it again. But it reduces the settlement down every time, which uh, makes it far worse for them. And they're still not going to accept, annoyingly. Um, we move here before we decide. Ah, yeah, we are already sneaking out. Destroy corruption. Outwards and on. Moving out. We're going to hit their silk trader there. And then come up here. Obviously, this is all. Well, that's the Great Wall there. Uh, but obviously, we've got. You know, taking out him would be very beneficial for us. Um, we thought you were dead. Nope, still won't accept peace. I am very worried about. Um, what? They sent you. How did Lube? Oh my God, guys! Have you realised what's just happened? So, Lu Bei has obviously, at some point in this campaign, disintegrated. Um, he's still got some territory up here. But he's obviously joined Yuan Shao. Um, and basically, Lu Bei has ended up over here somehow. So, people, I see lots of people wonder, say, would Lu Bei ever end up in the right place? And he kind of has here. I mean, he should be more down here, but he's heading towards the right area of China. I mean, not hugely, but... We don't have any kingdoms yet, which is surprising me. I suspect we're going to start getting kingdoms soon, guys. And that's when things are going to get really fun. For me, certainly, because I'm smaller. Oh, we've got a new tech. I don't want to get some of my top tier units. They're, they're very nice. They're not particularly tough, but... 
These guys are just insane. Forty percent income from commerce. Oh wow! And actually, that's useful. The income from all sources because we get a lot of income from trade, and that's a lot of trade buildings which we do want long run. So let's go for that. He says while looking at everything else. Yeah, we're going for that one now. I tell you what, the yellow turban's tech tree is much easier to, to decipher than the um, main one. The, so, so the difference is the yellow. One of desperation, not uh, resolution. Ooh. Hmm. Yes. It is done then. I, I want an ally. So we now have an ally, even though she's not near us. Um, she, that's potentially not necessarily beneficial for us, but maybe I can drag her into some of my wars. Um, we are the Yellow Crane now. Simmer Yi. Oh. So Simi Yi has come out and uh, uh, allied himself to somebody. And Simi Yi is a famous... If you don't know who Simi Yi is, guys, uh, he is a, a famous tactician. Um, Sprout who eventually is... Basically, his... Even though he wasn't one of the people... Oh, I thought I was... What? I am confused. I'm very confused. Alright, let's go to diplomacy, because why can't I see where my ally is? Enter freely, friend. One's thoughts must be kept as sharp as blades. Good to see you. Oh, did I? Hang on. Oh my god! So, Zheng Jiang obviously. I. Oh no, I didn't. Did I not? Oh, I thought they requested me to join. I'm really confused. Or did they request, but everybody else declined? Yeah, because I'm, I'm meant to be able to join alliances. I'm very confused about what happened. Did I completely misread things, guys? Um, who are these guys allied with? Yuan Shao. Hmm... This is definitely where things start looking worrying. So actually, I may go to war with them. If I can get peace here to start eating into that territory there. I shall not waver. Not possible. Push forward. Unified in intention. Remain sharp. Gather your strength. Eh, if they don't leave me, they can leave me. What can I level up in voodoo? Okay. Commerce income sounds good. You are going to head here. And actually, I'm going to start rejigging some of these troops because we have some better troops we can swap some guys out for now. Um, though they're expensive, so we might not be doing that just yet. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to sort some of these out. Ah, oh, 
I can't swap out for everything there. Never mind. He can get some of the units because he's so high level. Because as you level up, you do also unlock units. Um... I'm a little concerned by everything which is going on. Um, I'm powerful, but some of these alliances are very powerful. Oh, that's an interesting move. Interestingly, people are breaking off. There's a few wars going on. Impossible. This will be short. <laughs> no. Might war with both sides there. Yes. So actually, I'm going to come back down and get my mine. Resume standard positions. Ready yourselves. Ever upwards. No, oh, it's not mine. Serve integrity. Ready yourselves. China is people, not its a I return. Remain poised. My lord, I hope all is well. We're in an odd position here, because I, I definitely want to be able to advance aggressively, but can't really just now. Um, I'm surrounded by coalition, powerful coalitions. We've only got, we've got that little war down there. Maybe I should have kept two armies down there, really. Um, too late to worry about that now. Now we've zerged all the way up there. No! Gongdu has died, guys. Um, so in here, we've got a veteran, a scholar, so what I really like is a healer if we have one. Who would get on? No, it's a veteran. No, okay, we'll go for the guy, one of the guys will get on with everybody then. Um, and is reasonably happy, there you go. Yeah, I'll definitely keep the old retinue. Who has inherited? Hanfu has declared war on Kong Rong. Oh, join war alongside. Okay, lots of war going on. Cultivate patience. So we're still getting there. We need to get, to, I want to get up there. That is, a, we are a long way off the next rank, unsurprisingly. Not possible. Persevere. Uh. Let's just have a look at the diplomatic group to groupings. Uh, I wish there's one here where I could just straight out see the groupings. That is a big old alliance. Liu Bei is our best target at the moment.
Alright, let's see, we can go through their territory. Do we have a non aggression pact with them? Uh, no, we're just trespassing on their territory. Uh, you can tell I've been playing my other playthrough because I've kind of lost what's going on here. No, no, I, I would like a war there. I'm going to potentially move down. I'm going to get my other army in position. Ooh, they are pressing their set that, that I actually do need reinforcements down here then. Uh, oh, faction regency, Gongs and Zan. Okay. Oh, wow. Lots of people being vassalized. Somebody gained some satisfaction. So much goes on every turn at this point in the game, guys. For the people. Wow, look how happy she is, guys. Let's grab that one for the armor. Ooh. Oh yeah, because of course he got promoted. Chang Dai can get that. Oh, he won't enjoy it though. You know, nobody will completely enjoy it, so Chang Dai can get it. It's only Hei Yi he doesn't like, so that's not too bad. Change, perhaps. That's a lot of money. No, I'm planning on going to war with him. I don't want to be doing things like that. The trade agreement would also have gained us money. So maybe I should look at somebody else to do a trade agreement. Then again, I can get a trade agreement. It's not like anybody's going to hate me more. Beautiful. I'm just going to delegate this because this is easy. Obliterated them, wow. Yeah, he looks like he's got some nice armor on him, so yes. Uh, replenish. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. We got some nice armor there to use. Uh, he can use that himself. If he can. No, he can't. Oh, it's because he's a scholar, but you one of his guys will probably be able to. Oh no. My lord. How can I serve? Welcome, my lord. Really? Does it need to be Your a uh, healer for that? Item. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. How can I serve, my lord? So why can't we use this, guys? We seem to have a set of armor we can't actually use. For China! Is it a level thing? No. Nope. Oh, we've got our awesome mace as well. I am at your disposal.
A lot of our old lords ones. I think it's instinct. I prefer resolve to be fair. There we go. We can get that for the extra resolve. Um, resolve increases your um, retinue size, which is quite useful. here. Maintain we'll be momentum. able to go into ambush stance again for them. Okay. Because in a mine, that will actually be potentially hard to hold, so um, I'm happy to actually let them come at me a bit. Let us talk trade. Now I will accept that with Kong Rong. Um, that's going to make us money, and we were, they're giving us a big chunk to do it. Our talks flow as smoothly as. And Kong Rong is the big alliance. I think Kong Rong is kind of Kong Rong is seriously in a position here to actually uh, bring China under his grasp. Um, more wars going on. Now oh, Lubio is ooh, uh, aesthetic, as that's what we've got. All right, let's leave all these. We can level up some of these now a bit more because they are expensive ones to level up. Actually, so, yeah, let's turn here into a city. One. Let us get this over with. Oh, I thought it was actually a war with them already. Never mind. Impossible. Why must we speak? Oh, well, once we got our other guy down here, we will start. I'm gonna go sneak up this way, actually, then. Well, by sneak, I'm gonna double time up this way. I'm, I'm not with it today. I keep messing up thinking people are at war with me who aren't. You're going to move down there so you're in a more central position. I would love to find out where the Child Emperor is. A pleasure. How's that? Don't seem to be able to use this. Um. Let's try and get some money for it. A lot of money for it. Wow. It's a good bit of armor. I don't get why I can't use it, but... There you go. That's huge. We are obliged to you for this kindness. It's basically probably crippling his income for 10 turns for that. Demands renewal. Hmm. Now, I don't necessarily trust Leo Bay, but that alliance is huge. I cannot. It's a very cheap one. There we go. I guess we're most of that. We definitely have some assignments to use.
may as well. Keeping people busy is always a useful thing. Um, I'm not sure I really need the city there anymore. Oh, here? No, I definitely want to that one. My aim is precise. Standard stance. Moving as one. Be ready to spring. The mightiest trees survive. Patience will renew our vigor. Get another thing from here now. Oh, that's not bad. Reducing construction time. Let's get all the extra trade buildings because that is where our income is coming from at the moment, let's be honest. Well, that and selling off ancillaries. Oh yeah, if I go to Liu, more Liu Bao. We did test you, Ooh. but this must end. They want that lumber yard. No. You insult us. I don't see why I should give him anything. Well, they're behind me now, so even though that ambush didn't work, I can trap them between and squish them. And they're running. Let's do this, guys. Uh, it's mostly G, so that's a very basic army they've got, to be fair. So I'm not overly worried here. There's a lot of trees here, but no, we, we, we should win this battle relatively easily, actually, guys. So this has been a fairly non-exciting session so far. Um... We're in one of these positions where I want to go towards, but I just need to tidy up before we do. I mean, I'm just going to hit them with my catapults until they come and attack us. I'm happy to just murder them for a while. There we go. Now they're marching forwards. Uh, the Vanguard, that's an anti unit thing. There's a sent, sent uh, strategist there. Change target. We're going to swap targets a few times here because we may as well. I assume the gold, yeah, they're just. No, they're not just leveled up, they are just elite tuts type units. Right, hit them next. Just going to keep changing target because that's going to stop them spreading out quite so much. Let's put one into the general. Now, I don't think you can get lucky and just kill their general in one shot, annoyingly, because that would be a little OP, let's be honest. That was a good hit, though. Wow.
and they're in snow, so they have to move slowly, and they're tiring themselves out massively here. The men have no ammunition. Draw your weapons. Get off the field, please. They did enough damage, though. Oh, wow, we broke their general already. By the time these guys get to me, they are going to be so tired. They are high threat move units, so actually I do want to advance now. Our hidden men have been seen. <clears throat> And scholars are yeah overwhelmed. Whereas these guys are my more sentinelly. I think we get some of these guys do get. Oh, these guys, nice. Strike. I didn't even pay attention to a special bit of units uh, we've got. Attack. Attack. Kill them. Let's break these out so we can get into their range a bit more. We're breaking all of their generals. Steal yourselves. Archers attack. We're crushing them on that side and here. The enemy run. Craven. Stand ready. Act already. To attention. Steal yourself. Oh, is he enraged? Yes, he's gone berserk because I've obviously killed somebody who is related to him, which is a nice thing. We're surrounding all of these guys. Yeah, we are we're doing nicely. The centre's struggling a little, but not much. But we're, I mean, we say that, they're holding, but they are, they're, they're all exhausted as well. You can stay on them, you can hammer into the back here. Surrounding them on all sides. These are high threat units, but we're shredding the them. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Um, come on, break out. Stand ready. Fight. Ready. Oh, wow, you guys need to get over here. I'm very really high threat to him because he's mounted. Dismount. Now they're not high threat. I know they are still, but never mind. Oh, I didn't realise I had my cab stuck in the middle there. Oops. Stand ready. The men are out of ammunition. Fight! There we go, we're folding in on this little bit. And this go here goes the chain route, guys. Nice, solid victory there, guys. Uh, made them march through the snow to us, even though I attacked by hitting them with my trebuchet. To be fair, they could have stopped and made me march after I'd run out of ammo. We did need to kill one of their generals. Um, oh, wow. He did nicely. Um, so yeah, nice, solid battle there. When justice triumphs, 
Revelry we did take awaits. losses, which is annoying. Um... Such is the price for execute them. Not giving anybody back. So the way they're fighting at the moment, guys. Why would I? Why would I give people that? Uh, let's promote them at the moment, actually. I'm still technically in my own territory there, and we've got some nice levelling up done. Extra armour, I like the extra armour. Oh, we've got more! An extra research rate. You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. Allows night battles, I like that. Welcome, my lord. Your presence is heartening. My lord, how can I serve? Let's give him that. Welcome, my lord. This is one thing I'm terrible at, is actually equipping my, my people with things properly. Yeah, we'll do that one. The extra replenishment of things for the retinue and the extra armor piercing. And we're going to push in. You're going to keep moving down here. China is people, not its oppressive borders. Outwards and on. Forward! Home this is a relatively cheap army, to be fair. We set us off on this bit, which it isn't. Uh, load of peasants and some really solid units. Um, we've got a really good income at the moment, so I'm not not worrying overly. Um, just throwing everything up. I need to keep expanding, that is the thing. I, but I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to expand down here too much more. Um, simply because I, I want to consolidate a bit. And yeah, definitely that way. Troops! Serve the people towards peace. We're going to march towards that iron mine. But you know what? I'm going to take the territory simply because at this point, if I don't, it's going to get more problematic. And we can forcibly, we take a few bit of territory, we can forcibly push a peace treaty. Then we can turn around and, and hit Leo, um, Lu Bei, get him away from my borders because I don't trust him. He's always good intentions then, then manages to go to war with you. Yeah, and China is currently ripping itself to pieces as these guys try to become big players. And let's be honest, they're succeeding quite well. On the march. Yeah, iron mines are always welcome. I'm going to delegate that because I hate fighting iron mines. Maybe I shouldn't have battered that settlement due. we did before, but you live and learn. It is ours by right. Forced migration, ew. Migrating convoys. My aim is precise. Um, that one, I don't need the extra military supplies at the moment, to be fair. Why must we speak? Still won't accept it, the fool. His cap. Oh, this is his capital. So actually, you know what? Maybe. I just don't like being this stretched. And all this is going to be Han ten territory. That said, if we go to war here, we could, you know, potentially push in multiple places to fight the Han. Um, 
so not necessarily the worst thing which could happen to us. And you know, this is a nice bit of area to consolidate. Because let's be honest, long run, I would like to kind of have, a, yeah, I think a long run, the board has ended up sort of being around here, here, and up here. Um, let's see. I shall not waver. Honor your ideals. On the march. Toward glory. Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. Thrust with conviction and strike. Let's go here with the tea house. Ooh, they've got an army there. You know what? They can attack me if they want. I can always fall back. Oh, we're making things. Some things are becoming large cities now. Wow. We are becoming quite uh, nicely sized, to be fair. Um, I did just burn a city to the ground up here as well, which probably helps, but... We patiently await your answer. Uh... Yeah. Consider I'm happy to keep the alliance of, in of immenseness happy because it scares me. <laughs> and by it scares me, I mean it bloody terrifies me. Eventually, see, this is where I wish I could, I could be vassalizing, but I'm not there yet. In time, they will thank us for this. See, 1.7k is from diplomacy, which I'm going to lose at some point. Do not yield. Justice is on our side. Righteousness what does one the tea house give us? We'll find out. For our labors. Uh, it's just an income building. Not you again. And he's still won't accept. I mean, this feels foolish in the extreme. I am at one again. Warriors, attend! And that's the town. See, we've got abandoned places down here which we can start taking as well. I return. How fair the people. Hmm. Let's start getting some of these really nice units in then. So she's purple yellow. Uh, he is blue green. He is blue green. They are kind of exceptionally good at uh, melee, and they've got a lot of morale. So let's get a couple of them in there. Expensive, I do know that, guys. But it's we, we've got the income at the moment. We can always look at rejigging a bit later on. But we get one of those in for now. Hmm. They are very nice. They've got very good ranged power there. And reasonable in melee. Um, the good melee, they've got good ranged. Um, and they're blue. We are green blue. Um, obviously, we can get some of these guys as well, potentially. I would like some more ranged, some decent ranged in here. Um, I 
They're also very, very good in melee. But I can get the, the melee ones in this guy's retinue, can't I? Don't like crossbows because I can't have them with uh, fire on fire arrows. I'm gonna start pulling the cab out of here because I don't gain bonuses for them here. Um, let's get ourselves a few more archers. Actually, I don't really like those guys. Um, we'll get a couple of green units in there as well. We'll work it out as time goes on, because it's not like we can, uh, when we, we're, we're, we're not hardly skint at the moment, so. My local leader has leveled up. Uh, so things weren't administering a commandery really help us. Ooh, income from commerce faction wide. Seems very good to me. Okay, so he's just hiding at the moment. Um... We're going to start pushing down here. Oh, there's a spice market down there. Where are you going? We're just going to dig in and try and... try and, We're going to let him go where he must wants. Be pruned of strangling weeds. Oh, which one is that? Oh. Uh, oh, what? I have not been paying attention. Okay. We need peace. And we need peace now. No. Let us get this over with. I will give you some territory back. Why can't I see that? Oh, that's who owns it. Um, Yunnan. And Zanki. I'm going to give them all of that back and see what they'll pay me. Because they are no, I'm no longer getting that income as well. Uh, as well. So be it. Okay, so we force peace there. Um, this will be short. Ah, uh, you can only you can only do that with things. So we're going to see if we can get some more off off this guy. For China. Um, Why must we speak? Yeah, Zangi. And let's see what they'll give me payments wise. They may well break this later on, but I can always deal with that later on. There we go. Foundations are we'll keep the tea house for now. However, she is going to get squished on our way home. Prepare my chambers. Gather your strength. Mm. 
So we're not actually at war with Kong Rong. So we actually we've not got that much. I, I thought we were gonna be at war here, but obviously that's Kong Rong. That's not terrible actually. We'll capture here. And we will and we've got enough income to put so we've got still got a huge deal with Kong Rong. Um But this is all stuff for us to do. So that is huge alliance, but thankfully it's mostly not near us. So that's, we're okay at the moment. Uh, we'll deal with this. We'll take there. We will still move one army up. We'll hold one army down here in the reserve. We'll get the other army up. We're going to start building another army. And we are going to aggressively expand around here. We're going to take here too. Um, get that jade mine to be ours. And... Yeah, and the, to be fair, we'll probably be able to push a peace treaty relatively quickly. I, I do want to take hit on um, Liu Bei, Liu Bei, Liu Bei soon, because we are becoming so stretched here. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, me flailing randomly in this one. As always, please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. As always, thank you very much for your time.